Good evening everybody, and welcome back to Destiny 2. Trials of Osiris is on Meltdown this weekend. And the Adept weapon for this week is the Messenger Adept. You get two Trials Mementos, two Adepts. And if you sell your Flawless card to Saint, you get three Dead Messengers in total Adepts once you go Flawless. Or you could keep, keep your card, farm on your card as many matches as you want, and get a chance to get an Adept Messenger on a win, drop on a win. The build that I'll be trying to trials today is a Strand Hunter. It's the grapple build. So here are my abilities. Come to storage, get my melee back quickly. We got uh, grapple grenade, widow silk, two grenade charges. We got uh, ensnaring slam to shatter dive basically to suspend targets. We got the 30%. Reloads my weapons once I use my grenade and it gives me 10 mobility. If I don't mind. Uh, class ability energy on suspended kills, threatlings, it's the only... I only keep this on because of the 10 intellect, to be honest. I could probably do something better with it. Although you could also use the fin finality to get more recovery. But there are some other options here, but I really wanted the extra intellect. Because this is a 9 minute 16 cooldown super, it takes a while to get. I would prefer to have it higher than 70 intellect, but uh, it'll do fine. Uh, the final fragment is the uh, Thread of Continuity. Uh, my Suspend and stuff have increased duration. Now for the weapons, I'll be using the Conditional Finality, but in the beginning of the match I'll be using the Fracted Fist. You can't get the shotgun anymore unless it's on rotation on the Dares of Eternity, which is like... I don't know. I don't even know the rotation of the Dares of Eternity, and it's very hard to get. Now, it's from the season of the Lost in season 15. Quick draw, opening shot, assault max, mobile range master work. It's one of my favorite precision game frames shotguns in the game. But I might swap the conditional once supers are getting ready to shut down them. I'll be using the Igneous Hammer. This is the old Igneous Hammer. You can't get this specific roll anymore. You can't get quick draw, nor can you get celerity anymore. They are old perks you can't get on a new one. So, Celerity, it passively grants me a lot of handling and reload speed. It grants me like 20. And while I am the last living member of my fire team, I get increased target acquisition and increased handling and reload speed, reduce incoming flinch for fire. We do have uh, another Charles of Osiris intrinsic trait, not perk intrinsic trait, which is called something else. I don't remember the name of it, but it's got adept stability to help with that because without it I could of course go for adept handling which I normally would but 28 stability on the Igneous and it kicks back very much with that low stability. I'm on mouse and keyboard but I notice the kickback a lot so I have to drag my mouse a bit down to get the target on the head again which is why I'm gonna be running adept stability. High cal for extra flinch, full board for extra range. This is my other Igneous armor, golden dragon keep away ricochet fluted. Uh, the heavy is here. It, it is my usual grenade launcher. Ah, oh, here it is. Alacrity. Gain increased reload stability and aim assist and range when you're the last living member of the fire team or running solo. That is the uh, per origin trait I was talking about. That is similar to celerity, but slightly different. Uh, I'm using the strand helmet. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that word. Sir Taran... Sir Tarakness. Sir... Sir Tarashness. Tara no, it's K. Sir... Sir Tarakness. Facade. What the hell? Is that a name or is it a word? I don't even know. Game of a male when activating grapple. Increased flinch resistance while moving mo male is active. We got dynamo. Reducing super cooldown when I'm... Use my class ability near targets. Here is a build and mods overall. And seasonal perks, artifact perks. Uh, for our future, kind of mid. This Iota Draconis is a very interesting role. We got kickstart, gain bonus damage and charge rate during a slide after sprinting for a short duration, which is a very good perk. And we got heating up. Once you get a final blow, it improves accuracy, stability while improving vertical recoil. Also very good. You got liquid coil, slower charge time, but increased damage with the charge time masterwork that is gonna drag down the impact damage a little bit while simultaneously increase uh, decreasing the charge time. But with the damage points you get from kickstart, 
it might cancel out the damage loss from the charge line monster work. So you don't have to like use the liquid coils, you could use projection for even more range, small bore I would use instead. Yeah, this is a, actually a really good rolled fusion. Definitely recommend it to pick up. Now, um, I've already gone flawless, so let's, pret let's pretend this is like a 7 uh, wind trip to the lighthouse. I went flawless yesterday. I wasn't expecting to go flawless, so I wasn't recording at the same time. I won uh, 8 out of uh, 7 matches. I lost once. But I went flawless. It was just unexpected, so I wasn't recording, but I wasn't expecting to get it that early on a Friday, like literally two hours after the trials at large, and I came back from my 12-hour shift at work, kinda tired, and I still went flawless, which is good. So now I can farm on my flawless card, which is what I'm gonna do today. But I'm gonna give you seven good matches. Okay then, let's hop into some trials, shall we? Ah, uh, ew! Bow hot swap, ew! And plus, and we got a strand spam hunter. Great. I mean, I've seen clones, thrillings, obnoxious gameplay. Almost. Nice. He made that work somehow. I... what? He... it, it didn't... oh, he shot me. Okay, but still. It defeated me with the clone? Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, no. Mm. Is this uh, another carry match? Last three has been carry matches and all three of them... Uh, uh, two of the, the last ones I've lost. I'm not going up there. to do something. Nice teammates, very nice. Probably gonna have to swap to conditional soon. Hmm. I didn't even see him. Careful, teammate. Only 
We actually made that work, teammates. Well done. I'm swapping to conditional now. Holy shit. Solo is struggling though. No! Damn it! <sighs> Damn it! That's annoying and unfortunate. And I pro no, they don't have bubbles and stuff, but we do. They're not gonna move though. There we go. Your bubble. Lovely. Good work, Sarxy. And good damage from Solo, at least. It's better dealing damage and getting no kills and surviving, getting us around than not doing anything. What? Oh, he was just waiting there. I believe. Come on. Nice try, actually. But yeah, he probably was weak and stuff, but... Oh, it's 4-4. Four, four. Mm. Hit that bastard, hadn't been on the top Porsche just laning you, and not shot me would have been fine most likely I'm a super soon too I don't know which one of my teammates has uh, super Super dead. What? How? The fuck? Did I kill both of them? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> huh? I, I didn't even know that was possible to collapse with a strand hunter super. The fuck? That was unexpected. <laughs> I thought I was dead, but no, collapsed them. He was even in the strand super. Jotun, really? Two Jotuns? Uh oh. Okay, two Jotuns, that's a duo. I'm in the middle of texting, sorry. How long? I didn't even see him. Was he crouching at the pillar? I didn't see anybody on the radar. Thank you, teammates. Well done. Good work. Guess I need to pay more attention to my radar or something. I did not know he was there. 
with this toaster. Well. You know, the three pick ability you get from. Uh, well, we have three strand hunters, I just realized. Uh, the grappling thing you. The tangle. It's nice to get it when you can three pick. Like in the sword peak days. The three peak with the sword. I'm glad that's not a thing anymore, though. Ow. Team shots for the win. There we go. Overshield saved him somehow. Well done. I am apparently at the better duo, although they're both strand hunters spamming the strand. Makes it kinda easy, doesn't it? Especially when I'm in a duo with them. Oh, so close. Ow. Mother. Excellent cap teammates. Well, well, well done. Holy shit. Nice. Huh. That was a fun match to be honest. A little bit imbalanced, but yeah. I had fun, honestly. GG teammates. That went really well. Ay ay ay, I can't wait until Charles is back with checkmate. That's and uh, on eternity regarding the bows. I'm being ironic. I do not look, look forward to that. Because I know eternity with bows uh, in checkmate is gonna be painful as fuck. That's a good shot from the neutral to air. Hey! Can't believe I hit his headshot while I was in here like that. Going that way, you sure? Okay. I found a new flank. Yeah. 
There you go. Hey, nice. I'm keeping the conditional on. Usually I swap to Fractal Fist, but yeah, I'll keep it on. My god, I got team shot. I'm kind of glad my, uh, the, the missionary is on my team because it's such a pain in the arse to play against. I couldn't do much that run, I got team shot. I would have had one guy if it was a 1v1, easily. But thank you teammates for actually clutching up. Oh my god. Why do you put a clone here? Oh my god. Nice pick. I had fun that much too. 5 0, I know, but some of my plays I made, I had a lot of fun with the plays that I made. Excellent. I wish all my matches went as good as this one. Spoiler alert they do not. I lose a lot as well and do poorly. And I sometimes do costs my teammate wins and stuff that happens. Especially if I get too aggressive with my grapple and just grapple into a team of enemies and get team shot to hell and back. Uh oh. Explosive personality, quad swap rows. Oh, there are so many cheesy loadouts in trials. Although, that is not unexpected. I mean, most of the team. And trolls are using some kind of cheese, so you just have to expect it. Oh, thank you, teammates. I was actually dead there. Killed him. He killed me with his hot swap. Very skillful loadout. Good work, teammate. I did not use that GL there, uh, hot swap. I could have gotten him easily. So sad those kind of builds are possible in uh, Destiny, though. Nice. 
nice snipe. Get my health back before challenging. That's friendly. You see a bit laggy. Kill my kills are delayed. It was when he was getting rest and I farmed him too. It might be a bit laggy. I did waste my grenade there, to be honest. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do fine. I try to be conservative with my abilities, it's important, especially if checkmate is out. Teammate goes to the zone. Okay, no, he's turned around. There you go. Uh, well, that was easy. That was a very easy match. I've gotten a messenger at every single win That's on my seventh game here. Huh. Interesting. Well played, teammates. That was an easy GG's, easy dub. Yeah, a bit mismatched, you could say. Another threading spam, probably. Immortal Cloud Strike. Um, burn of Guild, Scale of Potential, Stasis Hunter. Okay. I have a very good roll of that fusion myself as well, but I rarely, if ever, use it. shot what the fuck why didn't I not grapple melee was I slightly too far away it probably was slightly too far away Where's the damage? Officially annoyed.
Nice teammates. Very nice. I am struggling. believe that actually worked. That I survived all of that and the heavy. He's flanking again. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Fucking threadlings, sometimes I can't shoot them. Okay, I didn't do shit. Good work, teammates. Nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if that was gonna hit him or not, but it did. <laughs> Fuck, team shot. I got team shot, good pick teammate. Oh my god. teammates I had fun playing with you GG's I was uh, very annoyed at the beginning of the match I really was but GG's single moms moms clan <laughs> you look sweaty as hell though And I think he is of my team. Which is most likely probably a good thing. Cloud Strike, SMG, PK. I think he's using the fusion rifle from Sir. That looked kinda interesting to be honest. That roll. I thought my shotgun hit him. I thought my other stuff hit him. I thought I was gonna to melee grapple him. It's a bit risky playing the grapple hunter. It really is. Oh, 
Demon's Driver. I don't understand how he did not die to my shotgun. Honestly, I'm gonna put on uh, Fracture Fist. Feel like it's a lot more consistent on the kills than conditional. Perhaps it's perhaps it's the spread pattern. Wishner, range. There you go, team shots. I'll swap the conditional when I get close to super rounds. They do have bubble and will radiance. Teammates got it. Yeah, let's swap. Just in case. My team is good. Teammates are very good. Shindered. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <coughs> I got really lucky on the matchmaking though, not gonna lie. Teammates were good. Yep, a little bit of a misbalance match, <laughs> not gonna lie. Rat King GL? Ew. Wishender? Ew. Strand? Another strand? There's a lot of cheese on the enemy team. Effing piece of shit clone spam. For fuck's sake. Huh? What? Did it teleport? What's happened? Oh, you're. Mm. Blade is a very good player. I can see that, but. What happened when I... Strange. Maybe just lag. Teammate go off on his own. I don't really like that. I got one, but I came on, but the other one came on my ass and I got, got wish in the back end. And I got the rest for... Never mind. Oh fuck. 
Uh, are you gonna farm me, maybe? I get keep getting teamed! Keep getting fucking teamed. Oh, this is so fucking annoying, though. You're not gonna make it to the zone, I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't have pushed outside like that. Ah. Oh, they're only winning because of the cheese and my misplays. Blade is carrying us and me at the moment. I feel bad for doing so bad. Get off. Team shot the hell out of the shit. Teammates dead. I'm weak. I don't get it. What the hell happens to my shotgun shots? Ah, oh, I guess I missed. Yeah, I can see my pellets in the wall. You know what? I'm gonna have to swap to effing practice because it's a lot more consistent on the kills, I feel like. Uh, they are long cooldown supers for the most part, although stasis is not that long. Teammates, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I am getting carried, but that's okay. That is okay. At least one this week. Two people. passive that's the answer here you know what I'm gonna put on conditional in case somebody gets like the strand super or whatever even though it's tough to shut down the strand super because of the range it has Out of depth and Ashen and Shard. And double trials loot. Nice bit of double loot drop, to be honest. Uh, he left. I wanted to give uh, Blade the commendation because he just really deserves it. Jesus, yeah. Look at that shit. The fuck? Right then, to the lighthouse we go. It's my 62nd flawless, I think. I think so. I didn't play last weekend on Trials. Uh, the GL weekend on Endless Veil. I was busy. I was gone. Out of town. It's the first weekend on Trials, the past weekend, that I haven't played since the beginning of Witch Queen. Uh, there's supposed to be double loot, isn't it, this weekend? I think so. I saw some tweets about it. 
I hope they are not um, uh, trolling me or bluffing me. And is the messenger adept? It's an awesome pulse rifle. Definitely worth the grind if you ask me. What? You're supposed to grapple melee thing. Oh. Although, being on Strand Hunter is actually kind of fun. I feel like Spider Man. Hello, Saint. Hey, that's a lot of loot. No sparrow, though. I am missing one sparrow. Okay, first messenger adept, uh, connected tremors, moving target, ricochet, extended stability. Right then, GG's. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck on your flawless runs out there. Have fun, see ya, GG's.